Hello, welcome to my channel, I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on WWE Smackdown Live, 13th of June 2017. We kick off the show with the New Day making their way to the ring with a big musical band from New Orleans. They said the big flash entrance is because this is the home of next year's WrestleMania. They'll walk into WrestleMania as your Smackdown Tag Team Champions. The Usos and Trump said they're going to still be the Tag Team Champions after this Sunday. The Fashion Police interrupt say that they're had a break in the case and your day one is not H they mentioned that they're not they are they're the fashion police and the users don't have the authority to lock anyone up clones in tr interrupt uh, they have a clue for the renter cop they didn't trash the office but they'll get trashed by them Biggie and the new day and the fashion police said they're gonna lawfully enforce their boots betwixt your buns uh, the opening segment weren't too bad I do like conversation so this weren't bad it was everyone getting in their little stick so it weren't too bad uh, then we had an eight man tag um, we had the fashion police Kofi and Xavier and the Usos and the clones uh, Kofi avoids a backstabber from Primo Woods tags him and hits a double stomp after a back break from Kofi uh, yeah it was a nice match it got quite dramatic uh I'm trying to find the... Yeah, just overall good match. I liked it. Cut, uh, the tag team division's starting to look a lot better than it was, so that's good. Well, it can't look any bloody worse, can it? Uh, then we see that John Cena will be back on the 4th of July. We already know this, but they're heavily advertising it, so I think they're waiting for ratings on that day, maybe? Ooh. And then we go to Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles in the back. AJ said that Sammy gets looks like if a big match is. Sammy shows up and wants to know what they're going to do. AJ is shocked that Sammy says so little. He talks about strategy, wants strategy. Says do this, do that. Freaks out. Tries to act mental because they might change the plan. They might be strategizing. Oh, oh my god, what are we going to do? Uh, AJ says he's going to... Oh, sorry. Sammy says he's going to save the high fives until the victory celebration later. And Nakamura just says, I like him. It was bloody funny. That line was amazing, Nakamura. Absolute comical gold. I laughed out loud about that one. It was so damn good and it's still funny now. Uh, I went a bad segment. I did enjoy it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm laughing. Uh, oh, and then Mojo Rawley is in the back. He thanks Shane for the opportunity, even though he came up sh uh, short. He was saying an interview, not at actual Shane, because he wasn't there this week. Uh, he has to deal with losses and evaluate him and then Zack Ryder packs him on the shoulder and congratulates him on last week Zack says they have some unfinished business as a team yes Zack Ryder is back oh life is sweet and I actually have grown on Mojo Raw so I don't mind them as a team anymore uh, then we go to our second match it's Naomi versus Tamina before the match starts Lana makes her way to the ringside Naomi with an to go to stop Tamina Naomi sends Tamina to the mat. Naomi hits a split, split legged moonsault for the three count. Uh, the match was alright, I guess. Weren't anything spectacular. The two women aren't amazingly fantastic anyway, so I didn't expect any of them. Um, after the match, Lana attacks Naomi from behind, hits a sit down powerbomb, and then she takes the tile bolt and stands over Naomi with it. That was a very nice fitting thing. Lana's looking quite quite a good contender. Good, because Lana needs to be able to do something. She is good. Hopefully. I'm praying to God. Cheers. Uh, then we go to the Sings introducing Jinder Mahal. Uh, he mentions that he is going to uh, ruin the author name. Uh, and then he speaks in Punjabi for his people as they do the whole USA chants. Uh, this Randy Orton's music plays as Singh stands in the aisle, but Orton comes through the crowd and hits an RKO out of nowhere. Sing slither out, Orton slithers out of the ring and goes through the crowd as Singh's come and check on Jinder. Uh, yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff there. Um, I really did enjoy it. Jinder looked really good. Randy got a bit of a, a baby face reaction because he hit the foreign person which I guess they're trying to go with but they've massively dropped that from the gimmick which I do like they've now started making it more about 
heel versus face than American versus Indian. Which is good because I don't like the te- standard anti-American hero thing. I don't like it. But yeah, they've tr- moved away from that, which is good. Uh, then they have strategy for Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. Uh, they're saying they don't like each other. Kevin says he likes Dolph a little bit more than Baron. They said, uh, why don't we try to work together to take out Nakamura, Sami and AJ, or we can just take each other out. Uh, let's try not to be our worst our own worst enemies and just work together. Uh, which is nice. I like that a little bit. Kevin looks a bit scared of the other two, which was kind of funny. So, all good. I liked that little segment. Uh, then Randy is asked about his comments, comments about his legacy being on the line. He says he had it all in the ring and he will take back what is his on his hometown. Yeah, that was alright. Then Natalia versus Charlotte. Uh, we see Becky watching a monitor and Carmella and James Ellsworth watching a monitor during the match. Charlotte with a natural selection for the three count. Eh, it wasn't that good. Natalia's just not good anymore. I don't know when people are going to figure this out, but Natalia is not actually that good. The hot name is what's carrying her, and that's all. But moving on. Then we have a fashion file segment. Fandango talks about the victory celebration, but a bad taste in his nose. Fandango makes his pecs and he talks about showing them off for, Bre- for Breezy in the Big Easy. He wants to know where Tyler is. We see Tyler down in the office. Fandango wants to know what happens. Tyler said he was attacked. He said they had greasy hair, dry skin, one arm, no, two arms. He shows the drawing and Bree Bre- said that is them. We see the drawing is stick figures. It was bloody fantastic I love the fashion police they are the best thing about the show right now oh god oh and then Lana walks in the back she's asked about an attack on Naomi uh, she said she doesn't care about what anyone says to her uh, she will crush Naomi and become the first ravishing Smackdown women's champion it was alright not too bad to be fair uh, then we go to our main event of the evening. Kevin Owens, Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler versus Sami Zayn, AJ Styles and Nakamura. Uh, they played this match really well, actually. It wasn't the best, but as story time, telling it was good. Like, Sami trying to desperately get the pins and then taking out the opponents, which was nice. It was not too bad. Sami looked pretty strong in this match. Nakamura and AJ didn't really get involved. This was more of, this is Sami's moment. Styles with the form to Corbin from the apron. St- Sammy with an louver kick for the three count. That's what I mean. He got a victory, which is damn good. We like Sammy Zane getting victories. Uh, then after the match, they all they attack each other. Uh, and then we see Corbin get a ladder. That you get a ladder. Someone <laughs> takes each other out. Corbin then climbs up the ladder. Sigling's going to get a briefcase. Nakamura comes in the ring, pushes him off, and then Nakamura with the Kinshasa. He climbs the ladder and pulls the briefcase off the hook. Yes, he actually took it off. Let that happen on Sunday. Please, if you want me to be a, fa- a fan, I will do anything to see Nakamura hold the bloody briefcase. But yeah, it was not greatest match, but that moment was really nice. The whole... Uh, Baron Corbin, ooh, I'm the favourite. But no, Nakamura takes him out. So who's going to win on Sunday? I generally don't know. Every single person has an equal chance to win it this time. Uh, apart from, I'd say Kevin Owens is the most unlikely to win this match. With already being the US champion. But everyone else has an equal chance, which is good. Now, as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Please subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.